Hi, everybody. I'm screaming in the car, and I know I sound like a mad lady, but I'm not a lady. I'm a man, I think. I'm here at Zaxby's, and I just had an accident all over the sheets. And I know this person in front of me is trying to look at me, but I don't even care. Turn this off. Thank you. Click the link down below to follow me on Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Must be 18 years or older. Link below. I am upset, you guys. I am supposed to be vegan. And I can't. And I don't know why. And I understand that I'm gaining weight. And I also don't know why. Can you see me? We're going to turn this on. I don't care who looks at me. They can look at me all I want. Let's go like this. Nah, 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 nah. All the people coming in. I actually have had it up to here with all of the shenanigans. And I have on my um, little, there we go, thank you. I have on this little thing here to cover the double chin. It looks very nice and dandy, yes it does. So um, anyways, I'm here at Zaxby's. As you can see, I'm about to order some chicken. I'm eating chicken because I am not going to be vegan. I don't wanna be vegan. I can't be vegan because I know that it rots the brain. I know because I lived it. I don't even know what I was thinking. I don't know what Orlin was thinking. He's like, oh, oh, you need to go be, oh, excuse me. You want my brain to rot? You want me to lose my intelligences? I don't think so. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. So anyways, I'm gonna get some whatever I feel like eating because that is what I can do in a free country. I know the chickens had feelings. What, why is there beeping? Who's beeping? Oh, those are my security cameras. I have four of them. They're new. Okay. So I'm actually upset. I don't want to be vegan because it rots the brain. It rots your teeth. It makes your hair fall out. It makes you delusional. It makes you susceptible to cult-like behaviors where you obsess over it. It, it does something terrible to the brain. Look it up. It's a fact, actually. And you can watch all these vegans on YouTube. Who, well, well, 90% of them quit because they know it's bad. But the ones that still hang on, you know, you, they are spewing propaganda. Spewing this crap to the people. All because they are sensationalizing the facts here. And trying to make it all propagandized. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. So I'm going to have, and you know what? Orland's going to, I'm, I'm going to make Orland eat this too. Because he's the one who told me I had to go vegan. Well, I don't care, Orlin. Hi, can I please have two fried uh, white cheddar bites? Hi, I'm back home. Should we do? Oh, I'm, I really have to fart. Ooh, hopefully nothing comes out. Bam! Wait, is this this is too bright? Shine bright like a diamond. I am very discombobulated today. My head's not good because I was vegan for literally 14 hours and I don't feel good. I'm back home. Shoo be doo. I'm home. Hello, we're back home. Hey, hey, shoo be doo. We're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy. Cause we're eating non-vegan foods. Cause vegans will rot your brains. Okay, so um, I show my little stuff in the car. Here I am. Yes, I am. How are you? Gosh, I, this keeps falling over, and I do it uh, some more. Put it some more. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Yes. Okay, so today we're doing Zaxby's, which is a favorite of mine and favorite Orleans, because we're quitting veganism. We tried it for like, like I said, fourteen hours. Not even. Not even, because while well, people were like, oh, because I posted the videos like six, seven hours apart, but we had filmed that the night beforehand. So and we were vegan for about fourteen hours. Crashing and burning, Orlin got so upset, he needed a Snickers, as I saw all you commenting about yesterday. He needed a Snickers because his, his mood swings were disgraceful and disgusting. Terrible behavior. Oop. The kids are screaming. You hear the little girls upstairs? They keep screaming. Maybe because they hear me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but hopefully, again, I heard lots of banging the other day. I just like to say, they're just YouTubers, and I'm going to mind my business. Okay, thank you. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, so yes, uh, my brain shrunk a little bit over the past 14 hours. So I have also only got one hour of sleep. I'm trying to change my, um, ooh, we got some ranch. I'm so excited. <gasps> okay, so let me show you everything that we got. We got some cheese curds up in here. I love these cheese curds. They are so good. I can't have enough of them. Oh, those are a little burnt compared to these. Oh. I love Zaxby's. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm still waiting for corporate to send me a little gift card because I have been pushing them to people, probably two million people by now, if you add up all the views, because no one eats them on YouTube. They they are so worth eat. I mean, I just am being genuine here. So good. Okay, so 
We got some french fries, which are also really good. Oops. Oh, cheapers, creepers. Making all my fries fall out. This is not acceptable. Oh. And this is really hurting my arm. I'm trying to hold up this. I'm going to have to stand up. Actually, let me just do this little thumbnail for you. Get this all set up and then call it Orland Inn. And we're going to talk about all the things that happened to us while we're... <gasps> We actually just got done doing something, <laughs> which I can't talk about on YouTube. <laughs> so I'll be right back. One, two, three. Bam! Bam! Shout out to the coldest water bottle. Click the link down below if you want one. 10% off with my code. Whoa, 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 boo. So what happened to that vegan diet we were doing together? I don't know. You tell them. You can't stay vegan? Mmm. -hmm. You can't stay vegan at all. Mm -hmm. You don't even stay vegan 24 mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. Well, you know the french fries are vegan, right? No, they're not. Oh. Mm. I love, ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. 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 They're too good to be vegan. <laughs> Yay, we're obese. Be clear yourself. We're both obese. I'm not obese. Wait, get, get the tape measure. I'm gonna go get the tape measure. And get the scale. Get the scale right now. Okay. Stop! Get the scale. Our neighbors above and below have made so many reports about us. And we just say, we're just acting, don't worry. Now I'm sick of it. Honestly though, how dare he say he's not obese when he is. Mm. Zaxby's got some good... Okay, you weigh yourself first and stand right here so they can see so you're not cheating. I'm not obese. I'm skinny. Right here, weigh yourself. Give me that, give, give me that. Oh, I gained two, I gained two pounds. It's from being vegan. You're 209? It's from being vegan. I had beans. It's water weight. And it's bloating and it's, it's water, water weight. weight. Okay, wait, let's do your, let's put this out, put this, ah. See me, you have to help me. So you have exact well, this is not the right. I don't know. This is oh. are you dumb? Get it, get it. Are you dumb? dumb? How useless are you? Get it. How useless are you? Get, stop. Now it's twisted again. Orlin, you're you're so fat, I can't even do it. I'll do it to you. Do it to me. They can't even see what's happening. This is very annoying, and the food's getting cold. This is all your fault. Hold it here. Number one. What was I last time we weighed my? Too much. You can't even hold, uh, match your. Stop your squishy. What are you doing? Yeah. You're 50 57 and a half. Click the link down below to follow my cameo where I will make a special video just for you. We can also message each other too. Link below. 57. Okay, let me weigh myself. Okay, she will talk to us. <gasps> oh my god, I lost two. 318, I lost weight. Let me do mine too. I lost weight. She, yeah, she's gonna operate on oil. I, get the operation. I want a chin lipo, actually, but everyone says, Nick, you should lose weight first. That's not gonna happen. Everyone says, Nick, you should lose weight first before I'm way chin. skinnier than you. I'm 48 inches. I just have a big tummy. 48 inches. It's my jeans. You're the the scale so I can say I'm very hungry and I'm I'm, I'm starting to get angry. You're always angry. So I'm 300. You're always, when are you not angry? I'm 318. He's 291. <laughs> I actually gained two pounds for this water because when you go vegan, you're getting a lot of water weight because you're eating all those carbs and it just goes straight to your gut. Shh, I'm enjoying my meal. Hi guys. Eat, eat the cheese curds. Mmm. Let's get forks. Ooh. They only gave me two forks this time. They know. Mm -hmm. Last time they gave me ten. And I was like, uh, <laughs> this is just for me. Mmm. Mmm. I had the best tasting chicken ever. So down here is honey mustard. Hot honey mustard chicken. What well, you were telling me yesterday that you were worried. Your main... It's so good to be quiet. Eat. Ooh. Mm. <coughs> I think I 
sure it's on you. <coughs> you okay? You okay? I'm crying. Look, real tears. You okay? Should I do the maneuver on you? What's that? The Heinrich maneuver? <coughs> no. Okay. We've done it before. This is crooked. <clears throat> I can tell by looking at it, it's really making me upset. And I know the viewers are upset too. It's crooked like your teeth? <clears throat> oh my god, now it's straight now. You move the table. Straight like my orientation. <laughs> <clears throat> so, have you had a cheese curd? I have had a cheese curd, but you were too busy being fat to notice. N N now, who's the obese one now eating forks? I just ate the fork. Where's the piece? Where'd it go? It's right here. <clears throat> You're gonna give me a heart. You're gonna give me a heart attack. You've been there, done that, sweetie. No, I haven't. Hmm. Never, ever have I ever weather. Mmm! So, today, I was driving, and there's a man behind me. I ran out of phone memory. I was going to record him and send it to the police. But my phone has ran, oh, I got a cameo, has ran out of memory. This is 125 gigabytes or whatever. There are <clears> more <throat> photos. It's videos, too. I use it for my job, so be quiet. Um, I was gonna record him. He was doing something so horrific. I was gonna send it to the police because I am a Karen, thank you. But I did it. So, does anyone know when the new iPhone is coming out? I need to know this thing because it's supposed to come out. They always announce them in September. Mm -hmm. We're almost in October, not a peep has been made. I think it has to do with the you know what from China. Slowing the people down, slowing the factories down. None of that, no one's gonna buy it. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, that's mine. It can't. It, oh, oh, so, or, can't, stop, you're gross. Orlin's making um, a marinara for himself. Did I make it? You're rude. Just eat. You're gross. Look who's talking. Shh. You have no neck. You're a grocer. You have no manners. You smell like shit. I don't know. Well, they already know that. They saw my video. Thank you. Which will be going viral. Thank you. Orlean, you just repeat the same old stuff. That's why people don't like you. Because your body doesn't change. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Stop. Be quiet. Sit here and eat. Stop. <clears throat> back to my story. There was a man standing up in the back of a pickup truck. Waving the flag. Just. <clears throat> just. That's my new boyfriend. Just going down the street. Waving the flag. And I get patriotic. Patri patrioticism is great to have in this country. But it's against the law to do that on a 60 mile uh, highway. Standing up. I mean, if he falls and someone runs him over, that, who's at fault? The person who's going the speed that they're supposed to go because it's a highway? Or the person who's standing up in the back of a truck? That is not lawful. To be standing up in the back of a truck. And it's not like this was a parade or a lot of people were doing it. I get there's a time and place for things. I don't think you should have parades on the highway. I don't are think people do. Do you, you mean, What? Are you new to Florida? Uh, is that the worst you've seen in Florida? One time I saw these two women fighting. And they were going at each other like hyenas. Like, they were like, one was coming from this side. I was going very slow because I was running the corner. I was going down <clears throat> like a 20 mile per hour street that had houses and stuff. But on the corner, there was like a, no, it was someone's house. I was going to say, was it a gas station? No, it was actually <clears throat> outside someone's own home. And there's a lady coming outside of her house. Um, and there's the other lady pulling in the trash can that was on the curb for pickup, and the lady was coming out of the house like this. And the lady was going up to her like this. <clears throat> and 
and I couldn't hear anything because my windows were up. I had the air conditioning on. And this was this was a couple years ago. And I was like, am I is there something bad about to happen here? Uh, the the poor children. The children. Think of the neighbors having to see this this behavior. When do you care about your neighbors? I would never ever fight with someone and have people see it. Oh, you just do it in behind closed doors. And no one needs to know. Do it behind closed doors. Don't broadcast it out in the neighborhood. Disgraceful. If you're gonna act like an animal and a crybaby, keep it to yourself. Just post it on YouTube. I'm thinking about. Oh. Okay, so, anyways, this man was on the back of the. And no one was honking, like, you're, I'm proud of you. No one was saying anything to him of ifs, ands, ands or buts. I thought you were on a weight loss journey. You want some ranch with that? Mm. <laughs> then you wonder why your blood sugar is so high. This has no shirt. Did I get it on my new Walmart shirt? I got did. it on my new Walmart shirt. Of course you did. Oh, this is just so... Oh. You guys, also, the reason I have Patreon is because I'm out of a retainer for Nancy. And yeah, I made a lot of money, but I spent it all on stupid attorneys. For his... I wish I could curse right now. So, don't bring up Nancy. Why? Oh, Nancy. I really want to do a mukbang with her. I want people to see like who Nancy actually is. She's just a leash that takes our money. Excuse me, she's my representative. She's quiet. Anyway, this. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's oh. This man was on the back of a truck on the highway, standing up with a flag. It was an American flag. I thought the liability, the stupidity. People are so stupid in this world. Stupidity, no common sense. I feel like I am such an oddball, such a... I'm in the minority because I have such good common sense. I think most people <laughs> do not have... Sorry. Can you just sit there and be quiet? No one needs to hear from the peanut gallery. I was just laughing on a joke I heard. I, I have a lot of common sense, and people in this world do not have common sense. <clears throat> You'd think it would be the opposite, where the minority are stupid. No, the majority is stupid. Where you would think that's okay, and this was an older man too. He had a mustache and a beard, little gray hairs. He wasn't like, you know, in a walker, 80 years old, but he was, I'd say 50 something. I'm like, you're gonna put your life and everyone's life at risk for what? Made me so mad. And my phone is out of memory. <clears throat> I actually don't, I just ordered a hard drive so I could take everything off of it and reboot. Cause Apple, you can't put a new card into it. Samsung, you can. But I didn't like my Samsung. I had a Samsung Galaxy. What was it that we had? S8. The S8, many years ago. Like three years ago when we used to live in South America. That's what I had and I hated it. <laughs> so good. Yeah, screw being vegan. The world will never go vegan. Never, ever, ever, honey. Ah. <clears throat> Veganism is the future. Huh? Veganism is the future? Why? Because it is. All the celebrities. What are you talking about? All the celebrities are stop? doing it. Can you stop trying to be funny and like, just, if you have nothing important to say, keep quiet. You're just mad because you can't stay vegan, because you have no willpower, because you're a hungry, hungry hippo. Look who's talking. 290 pound man. I'm not 318. And that's a good one. You were like 328 or 38 the other day. <clears throat> You're 290 pounds, Orlin. You have no business it's talking muscle. about. I see this on YouTube a lot. Where fat people pick on other fat people for being too fat. I ain't naming names. I've seen it in a handful of different situations. I'm like. 
who do you think you are? Ah. Oh my god, the holier now. I can't see, again, I can't stand stupid people. Stupid and stupid holier, they think they're so great. A daddy had a, oh. That's just untalented people. Or like, this is my show. Sit there and eat. You don't, know, you don't even know the first thing about her. I actually know a lot about her, unfortunately. Anyway. I've just heard the music, unfortunately. It's not that bad. <clears throat> it's just the attitude I like. My bowel stitch. Two crabs. No. I love cold water. It's the only thing keeping the kidney stones away. <clears throat> oh my god, the other day I was on Instagram and this horrible, horrible site, which should be banned, but it's not. It was called like medical something. And flash it was recommended. I don't even know how. I think someone I follow liked it or whatever commented it. And I follow 7,000 random people on my Instagram. I did it to be nice, you guys. I'm not going to rant about that again, but I did it to be nice to follow people back because I wanted to should be a YouTuber that actually kept their word. Not the YouTubers like, oh, I'll follow, I'm going to do a follow spree and they don't follow anybody. Or Gabby Hanna. But, <laughs> I'm just picking on her. But a lot of you, no, no, a lot of YouTubers do that. I sat there and I followed 20,000 darn people on, on Twitter. And then, and then, uh, people had the audacity to say, why are you following this girl? She's a minor. She's 16. You're a creep. I'm like, excuse me? What? Uh, this is why people don't do nice things for people. But anyway, I, um, <clears throat> what was I talking about? Before. Kelby Hannah. No, before. YouTubers that don't follow back. Uh, I was talking about something. They lie. Oh, no, the, no, the um, Instagram thing that I follow. Oh yeah. It got recommended to me. Oh, it's the universe telling you to go vegan. Shh, just eat and save some for me, would ya? Stop being greedy with the food. I'm not being greedy, Orlin. You're hogging up all the chicken. You're always being greedy with the food. Mm -hmm. Trying to recoup the protein I lost in the one day of vegan. Here's your arm. What? <clears throat> you should lay off the ranch. Excuse Anyways, me. I follow an Instagram. No, I don't follow. It got recommended to me. This horrible, disgusting. <clears throat> I mean, I get it. it's it's medical. Actually, no, I shouldn't call it disgusting. It's actually good for people that can handle this type of information. It was um like chopping things, body parts up, and it was like autopsy and really graphic. It was so gross. One of the things that Orlin showed to me, because he, he took the phone, I almost passed out. Thank God I was already laying down. He took the phone from me, he's crying. He's like, oh, this is interesting, because he wanted to major in medicine or whatever. And um, he pulled up to someone's kidneys, uh, kidney stones. They looked like freaking chickpeas. And there was like 200 of them inside this person's kidney, which they took out from the body. Were they dead? Were they alive? Oh, you can get your kidneys replaced, can't you? No. Anyway, I don't know. Find a match. And I said to Orlin, how does this happen? He says from eating a lot of salt and sometimes a lot of dairy, calcium. Too much salt, too much dairy. I'm like... And oxalic acid from being vegan. And I said to him, I'm like, everything I eat is salt, water, wait, hello, is that going to happen to me? He says, Nick, you drink a gallon of water a day. I guarantee these people didn't, will go days without water. <clears throat> He's like, that's what's saving you. Thank you, Coldis. You saved my life. I actually drink about a gallon a day. That's not an exaggeration. So I hopefully, knock on wood, that I don't get those chickpeas up in there. You probably have them though. How? Don't, I'm gonna think. Change the subject. I'm getting full. I used to play this game called Spyro. 
the dragon? Mm -hmm. <gasps> this is Spyro? You played Spyro? Yeah, I did Spyro. Oh my gosh, you played Spy the purple dragon? Yeah, that, <gasps> that would clip. I love Spyro. That would clip the gems. And he had lightning breath. Oh. Wait, you did you have PlayStation? PlayStation 2, yeah. That was PlayStation 2, I think. Or 1 or 2. What? 2. It was like a CD mm -hmm. you put into it. And it had all these different worlds. Mm -hmm. They had like these monks. It had a level with monks. Do you yeah, the monks. Mm -hmm. You played Spyro. Of course. Oh my god! They had like hidden worlds. Mm -hmm. They had. Like... <laughs> oh my god! They had all these like secret little rooms, and then mm -hmm. you would fly in to change the those. And then they had underwater stuff and. <laughs> oh, I missed my childhood. One time I peed in my diaper because I feel like going to the bathroom because I was so into the game. Nothing's changed. I know. <laughs> no, but seriously, because uh, I had a peeing problem when I was young. <laughs> Shh, before you say that. I had a peeing. I used to wet the bed until I was like 12. 27. <laughs> this is different. This is, this is the Koreans' fault. <clears throat> the spicy noodles. It's not good for my body. Thank you. Not the K-popers, right? Not the K. I'm not blaming on the K-pops or the BTS. We're blaming it on the noodles specifically. Go to the source. Oh my god, I got, I got a cameo. Who's this for? Oh, that's a rating. Perfect. Five stars. Genuine. They called me genuine. <laughs> okay, but no, seriously. So when I was, like I said, a preteen, I was still kind of wearing diapers, trying to get off of them. It was uh, pull-ups for teenagers for nighttime. Well, on weekends, I used to love staying in my pajamas. I would shower. I would make some French toast, make some waffles with a stick of butter, sit down on the couch, and play Spyro. Spyro. And one time, I was so into the game that I didn't feel like getting up to go to the bathroom, so I just sat there and peed. While I was awake, because those diapers are for when you're sleeping, you can't help it, or you can't get out of the bed fast enough. It's to prevent your mattress from getting disgusting. I sat there on the chair, and I peed myself and it felt all warm and went up my butt. It was really nice. I didn't mind the smell. It reminded me of popcorn. Oh my god, I want to play the game now. So it was Spyro, and then there was like a racetrack game that we used to play. Mm -hmm. My parents, I think, were very good parents that I was not allowed to play violent games. I was not allowed to have anything with guns. I was Just not dragons that breathe electricity. It's different. Okay. It's totally fantasy, but when you see people shooting people, mm. I wouldn't trust an eight-year-old to process that right. If I had a child, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let them play games about shooting people. Would you? Don't Maybe look at the news in Florida. They're eight. They're not going to process that right, you know. And those games have ratings. I mean, there's studies, psychological studies that show. That kids can't promise this is, <clears throat> it's like maturing, and for mature, they're supposed to be 18, and, and then you have 12 year olds playing these games. Because parents, like I said, are stupid. The majority of people in this country are stupid. Common sense is of the minority. Because they're handing, I get comments like, because I post some things on my Instagram to advertise some things I do on the side. My business, my child watches you, she's in sixth grade, I'm like, well, excuse me, little miss. Be a better parent? Why is your sixth grader watching me? What possessed you to think that they should have complete access to the internet without supervision? And if you were aware of me and you followed me too, daughter and mother, it didn't occur to you, mother. Hey, my 10-year-old shouldn't watch Nick Okada. He, from, from his crying to his cursing to his fights to his weight problems to his relationship to overfeeding, talking about... I mean, it's just like, and then they, they shift the blame on me. Like, I'm supposed to cater to them, like, as, as if I'm PBS. And they're just leaving me to be responsible for being nice to their 10-year-old that wandered onto Instagram. Ah. Oh. oh, my God. Stupid. Ah. If I had a kid, they would not be allowed to watch me until they were, I'd say, 17, 18. No exceptions. You know, you have 10 year olds, what? and I get, I, mean, I, I might have been a little less crude back in the day, five years ago, but it's up to the parent to make that screening beforehand, period. You can't just trust a person on the internet to be appropriate for your child. You just, you don't even know me. You can't trust that I'll be the PBS today. <clears throat> okay, done ranting, but anyway. <clears throat> 
I love Spyro. Yeah, let them play Spyro. But yeah. Oh, it's not allowed to have, we're not allowed to have water guns. We're not allowed to have anything that resembled things that would hurt people until we were, our brains were able to process that, you know? Hmm. What? Nothing. What? Your shop is so different from mine. <laughs> what did you do? Did you play action figures? Oh, the things I saw in Columbia growing up. <laughs> you can't even talk about that stuff on YouTube. <clears throat> you can be a guest on my Patreon video. You can talk about all you want. Mm -hmm. I, you know, is that ideal? No. No, but you can't. The Columbia has been decades. We can't talk. We can't say war on this video. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. It's in their terms of service. Really? Okay, edit it out. Wow. We do work for PBS. No. It could be on YouTube. They just might take the monetization. Well, <clears throat> anyway. Hmm. This is really tasty. What time is it? Hey Siri, what time is it? Why doesn't Siri tell you things? Because she's dumb. Because I can't wait. Alexa will tell you the time, the date, the place. The weather. Last time you Siri wiped, just last time you wiped your butt, she'll tell you. Siri's like a lunch lady. She just throw it out there for you. Like she doesn't actually like say it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> when is this new iPhone happening, people? Does anyone know? They're not updating. Siri. Not only is my phone full of clutter that I feel like saving, okay. But Siri is part of that minority. Excuse me, she's part of the majority of stupid people. Siri, a reflection of all these people standing up on the highway at the back of a pickup truck being a liability and a, you know, putting everybody at risk for attention. I feel like Judge Judy. Stupidity. <clears throat> I wonder if Judge Judy lives in one of those normal states. <laughs> <laughs> What's a normal state? Not Florida. <laughs> Judge Judy lives in New York, New York or California, one of the two. Oh, New York. Ooh. <laughs> She's probably in Tribeca or something. <laughs> no. Hey Siri, where does Judith Shinen live? I wonder if she discloses it. Maybe she doesn't care. Hmm. Judith. Shinelin State of Residence. The Shineman. Ah, she's useless. Judge Judy House. House tour. Oh. Oh. She probably has a few. That's a very happy judge. Here's to answer your question. She oh. owns homes in Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, Florida, Wyoming, Los Angeles. But she's in Florida. <laughs> She probably gets so triggered. And then in May of 2013, she bought a $10 million condo in Beverly Hills. What? <laughs> Edit out that word. What? You said the C word. What? Condom. you put on your banana. Condominium. I said condo. No. Oh, I said... Oh. That's a slip of the tongue. Oops, condominium. Even though you don't wear those. <laughs> she, she lives in Greenwich, Connecticut. Oh, Greenwich. Oh, that's really fancy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> well, she's very. But she lives in Florida too. She must. It's, it's a vacation. Triggered. It's a vacation. She probably puts on a blindfold. Have you ever seen that uh, that statue that has the the scales with a blindfold on? Oh yeah. That's her when she goes to Florida. <laughs> it's like you go out to drive here, and your heart starts going crazy because you feel like you're gonna you're gonna like die. <laughs> bad bad drivers again. Bad, really bad drivers. Now, if you're, you know, 10 years old watching this, I'm sorry, but I have to be honest. You're not supposed to be watching me. You're just not. You never, you never, it never has been. I used to say, this is a kid channel friendly. 
as irony, and it went over people's heads. Just like when I bought an LA house, it went over people's heads. I bought the Hawaii apartment, over people's heads. Jasper and I were pregnant with a child, over people's heads. I mean, I can't hold people's hands and spoon feed them, what? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, <clears throat> so sometimes I see, again, stupidity. Nick, you said this was a kid-friendly channel. Two years ago, when I was trying to be ironic because apocalypse happened. I mean, again, I'm actually very smart, but no one's gonna care to even know that, so it is what it is. You can't blame them for thinking you're pregnant, though. I mean, it looks like you're pregnant, like 12 months pregnant. I know, I got the stretch marks and everything. I know. Anyways, yeah, please, my show's really not, it's just, it's just not, it's just un un unacceptably not for children. Maybe some episodes, sure, but with adults, they're present. You know, to the movie theater, PG thirteen. You have to be an adult, an adult there to help you process it when the scary scenes happen. You know, your weigh-ins. <laughs> like who? What ten-year-old needs to see me weigh myself? It's just oh, I, I don't want the kids to feel like I'm mad at them. I'm mad at the parents, but then I don't want them to feel like I'm mad at you know attacking their mommy and daddy. Uh, Hmm. Wow. We devoured this. Do you enjoy it? It was very good. I enjoy it. Last I chicken. feel like we really needed the protein. After being vegan for tw well, barely 24 hours. It was 14. I counted. Oh. But we really depleted our protein storages. I told them. I told them. In our B12. Oh, well, no. That is a long time B12. No. Do you no. have the last chicken B12? Want to share? You're the one going on a diet tomorrow. I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Me on a when's, diet. When's the last time you went on a diet? <clears throat> um, a couple years ago. And I'll, I'll go on a diet when I turn 30. Well, technically you are if on I'm a diet. If I'm still alive, You're Bill. on a fast food diet right now. It smells very hard. Yeah, it doesn't want to be eaten. Oh. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm going to say goodbye. He's going to say goodbye. Oh, it's hard. It doesn't want to be eaten. Try it. So, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow for another video. I posted on Noodle King today. Um, a lot of you guys don't follow that channel, so I'll link it down below if you'd like to check it out. And... <clears throat> Patreon, cameos, all of my other channels. I posted my main channel two days ago, 10K Challenge. I am consistent and I'm hustling and I'm committed to bringing you content for free to enjoy. As long as you're above the age of 18. And I, I, I'm about to poop. 10K Challenge is not a challenge. Did you really just do that? Yes. Anything in his body. Oh my god. What's wrong with you? Uh, oh my god. It stings. It, it stings on my flaps. Why do you keep eating spicy food? You know what it does to you. You know what it does to our furniture. You know what it does to our sheets. He has no control. He has no control of anything. He has no control of his bowels. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video and my executive producer, Elise Easy. For more mukbangs and other content not allowed on YouTube, join my community over on Patreon. Must be age 18 or older. And for something more personal, get a video from me on Cameo, where we can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. Patreon and Cameo are linked down below.